Hi, I'm Paul from PDA Sports, leading online racket specialist, and today uh, I'm just catching up on another vlog, um, a little bit of an update. Uh, first of all, quick apology, uh, there's been a little bit of a delay since our last video, uh, slightly um, because once I've been away on holiday snowboarding, um, but yeah, I'm back now, we've got loads more content coming out. Um, I mentioned on my last vlog I might be going to Chicago for the World Open, which has uh, now been confirmed. So super excited that. So I'm also going to take my uh, video guy out with me. So really hope to get some uh, some really good content on the World Open. Uh, some interviews with some players. Um, Dunlop of kindly uh, will be sort of our main brand that we will be. Um, following as uh, the invite has come from Dunlop so a big thank you to Dunlop Squash I'm um, really excited that hopefully going to have some interviews lined up with Ali Farag and uh, a number of the other Dunlop sponsored players um, so maybe if you've got some questions you want me to ask uh, you can post them down below but yeah so as you can see from my desk a little bit chaotic but um, I think we're going to start with today now um, quite one thing I've massively been struggling with the last few weeks is tennis elbow. So I thought, like, as a group, if anyone's got any like amazing ideas on how to cure tennis elbow, I mean, like, one thing that we supply is these tennis elbow supports. And I've done a review on these before, and I personally use this Nike one, and it has been uh, really good. But again, just recently it's flared up, so I thought it would bring the topic up because. We also have a racket which I've not reviewed yet, but I think I'm going to give it a go. Now Wilson, um, basically the technology behind this, the triad, it's quite an old technology, but they've brought a racket back out, the ultra triad. And um, this system here is supposed to hugely uh, enhance the comfort of the racket and um, is maybe ideal for someone suffering from tennis elbow so it's kind of my issues that I'm having with my elbows kind of prompted me to to maybe look at that so um, yeah I do hope I'm going to try and get a review up this week of this racket and uh, my thoughts but yeah feel free to post some comments down below if you have any suggestions that you might think might help my my elbow but I'm going to continue on with these supports whilst I'm wearing, whilst I'm playing. Um, we had some questions about uh, um, string tensions and strings um, again so just really just quickly touching on that I mean from from it's something again we can ask when we go out to the World Open but my understanding is a lot of these the players I know I think Nick Matthews tension was around about 27 pounds in his squash rackets um, the I think Rami Ashore drops it down to about 21. So um, you know the looser you have your tension, the less control you will get, but you will get more power. So you know, like we we generally in the shop, if um, somebody doesn't know what tension to go for, we normally recommend around about 26, 27 pounds. It's fairly tight, and that will give you a good kind of all-round mixture. But the thing is, the key thing is, whenever you go to get your rackets restring, is to record what tension you have it at, so that the next time, if you want to take it up or down, it gives you, um, you know, it gives you that knowledge. So there's no real ideal tension. It's very much individual. But our recommendation would maybe be to start at 26, 27 pounds. Um, and then and play around until you find exactly what you like. I mean, one thing, string-wise, it's really hard to sort of go against Tech Fiber and Ashway. Again, they would be our recommendation. Lots of the pros are using them. Um, Dunlop have got one that um, I know some of their sponsor players are supposed to be using, uh, the Silk, I think it is. So, again, also we can try and find out when we go out to the World Open, but you know it's hard to it's hard to go against the Technifiber. Now, um, just talking of Technifiber, one thing I've been filming this week is the new Dinergy rackets. Now, annoyingly, I've not got them with me here today because they're away with my filmer whilst he's just putting the video together. So next week, probably Wednesday, we'll we'll upload the video for the Dinergies. Uh, there's three new Dinergies. Um, somebody has already commented on a picture that they almost look like prints. They're very similar to this Prince racket in terms of shape, but they don't have the uh, 
the power ring stringing pattern. So, the, and the, really the, the Dinergy range is pretty much, um, it kind of coincides a little bit with what I was talking about with the Carboflex. It, it basically will offer a much more forgiving feel to the Technofiber lineup. So, they're going with, let me see on there, they're going, I don't know how that's coming across, but three new rackets. They're black and orange. They're bringing out an orange X1 biophase string, moving away from the red. It's all going to be orange. There's going to be bags coinciding that. I did hit with them. And what they now have is a very forgiving uh, racket that any club player that finds a car flex too, too unforgiving could now use. And then you, you, know, you can be linked with the Technofiber brand if you, if you uh, are a Technofiber fan. So that's the Dinergy Apex. Um, it's going to be, we're going to have a review out Wednesday and uh, we are, there. I think the rackets are already on our website so we're um, pre-selling those now for a, a sort of end of February or I think it's, well, middle to end of February um, launch. So, but all the details will be on the website as well. So, um, the, you're probably asking why I've got a Prince racket here. Uh, one was just to sh sort of highlight a little bit because I haven't got my Tate Fiber racket. But also, one of our most common questions is, is uh, what's happening with prints? So basically, um, I have seen the new range. I saw the new range last year. There is a new range coming out. As for whether we're going to get it, like, you know, as I'm almost saying on this video, um, I, I don't know. We, we uh, thought we were, but we don't know what has happened. So if Prince, you're watching this, perhaps you can get in touch with me because I have no idea what is happening with your rackets that you did come show me. We had the NFS2 shoe booked down for February. Again, with that, you know, one of the most sought after shoes. Um, a lot of people have been struggling with their squash purely for the fact they can no longer get that shoe. That shoe is supposed to be coming back. But again, unfortunately, the news is we have no news. We've heard nothing. So like I said, Prince, if you are watching this, can you please get in touch with us and tell us what is happening with your racket? So as we speak, we do not sell prints because the last year's range um, we didn't have much joy with. There was a few breakages, but um, that is supposed to have been addressed in the new range of rackets which, like I say, we have seen. So there is stuff out there. So hopefully Prince might be making a comeback, but we will update on that as we get more information. Um, right, what else is happening? Uh, I don't know, one new area we set up on the site was our outlet store, because uh, th a lot of time through either my videos or whatever, I get sent stuff. We might use them briefly, and then because they're not now brand new, we can't sell it. So we've now, one of the latest things that we've got loads of, which you might want to check out, is uh, Harrow. There's loads of amazing deals on the outlet store in Harrow. Got a bag full of rackets here. Anybody wants to buy this bag, I don't think the bag's on there yet, but we can sell you the bag. Um, but there's some really good deals on um, on our Harrow rackets, uh, and they're all on the outlet store next to the sale section, so check that out. Um, uh, this was on my desk as well, because uh, I've got one of these, and this is something I've been sort of self-massaging, trying to cure my issues with the tennis elbow so uh, I just kind of put that on there as uh, I thought um, if nobody's seen those before we do do quite a good range of uh, self massage uh, and uh, you know deep deep massage is very important to the recovery in all of our racket sports that we play. Um, right well so now again similar unfortunately to the uh, the the Technofiber rackets. We've just had the new Yonix Badminton racket, the Nano Flare. Um, so we're play testing that at the moment, and um, we've got some like we're 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 really sort of uh, bringing more and more content out with our badminton. So if you are a badminton follow follower, we're going to have a video coming out very soon on. Um, I've had Lee and Sophie who do a lot of videos with me. Uh, they're sort of three sort of uh, great drills to to practice. So we've got some video content coming out on that. This new Nano Flare, uh, that this is due in the next few weeks as well. Big launch for Yonex. Um, and um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, when I, once I get the racket back, because I've got Lee's play testing it at the moment, um, you know, we'll, I say we're gonna post a review and I'll have more information on that. Um, other things which I'm not actually allowed to show you, so I'm gonna keep this here, but basically uh, what this is is the uh, autumn winter A6 uh, indoor. So we've um, been putting out together our orders there. So um, 
there is a new shoe and basically mainly new colour ups as well so like I say I'm not allowed to show you that but that gives you a little bit of an idea of some new shoes that are coming from A6 so they'll be out in June. Right, um, the other thing is like this week we've started to add some more and more Ashaway products so um, now I'm a massive uh, uh, well, I have a big interest in trying to find like decent socks and Ashaway um, kindly gave me a pair of these to try with a view to selling them and um, they're going to be priced around about £5 but um, like, they're like a really good sock so these are also going to be on the website um, they might even be on after when I've done this review but they're going to be on uh, this week um, as we're doing this so check these out if you're looking for a really quality squash sock there's, there's different colours they do a black one as well, um, and uh, yeah, they're going to be on the website, Ashaway Socks. Now, um, there's a competition running on our Instagram page as well, so uh, you know if you follow PDH Sports, we're giving away a signed Daryl Selby bag, and that coincides with a... Now, Daryl's been doing like incredibly well this season, his kind of ranking's been going back up, so... Uh, defying the age and uh, is pushing all these youngsters. We've we've just reduced the price on his racket, so this is now on offer. So um, any Daryl Selby fans who kind of like got a Black Knight week going off, um, and uh, yeah, his racket is currently on offer on the website. So check that out. And I say go onto our Instagram page and our Facebook, and you will find a chance to win. Uh, a signed Daryl Selby Black Knight bag. Um, we've also got some signed covers, so we're going to be doing some um, giveaways with those. And then, like I said, it's really, there's been two new rackets that have come out. Now, I don't know a great deal about these yet, but obviously I will review them. Um, so, sort of um, top of the range racket, this is the Scimitar. So, um, again, it's probably. Um, you can see this quite reasonably thin, traditional uh, head shape. Uh, we've got um, 490 square centimeter head size, dynamic weight 115, and a sort of frame weight of 130. So, um, new rackets from Black Knights. So I'm going to give that one a go. That will be we'll review that very soon. And then also more sort of like slightly lower price point. They've brought out a nice uh, kind of like. Probably club players racket, the reflex. Um, so these are two new rackets that are coming out from Black Knight, and uh, they are also on the website soon. So um, yeah, so really, um, just a quick update. Like I said, I'm trying to do these regularly, give you a little bit of an insight into what's happening in the world of uh, the racket world and of PDH sports specifically. And um, yeah, so the next vlog um, we'll try and get at the end of the week and also check out the new Dinergy um, Technofiber uh, review that's coming up very, very soon. Okay, so uh, if you've not already done it, don't forget to subscribe and um, leave any comments down below and um, we'll catch up very, very soon. Yeah.